though, you can see that cloud cover starting to form. There's some guys on the roof here. So I see them up there. Sun's out for a brief minute. So it looks like we got a recovery here to do. We got Mike in the loader. What happened? What's happened here? <laughs> do you want to go backwards with it? Yeah, he's gonna go backwards and we'll tie it up and then they'll just drag it back up the hill. No, dude, I, I'm going down. Well, I was thinking drag it up and get you straightened out, but no, I I I have chains oh, you on. Slid off into I'm, the I'm ditch. sliding right. like crazy. There's cars sliding by. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it's really slick. All right, let me get uh. Yeah, that's how we do it here. A couple times this year, but everyone's loaders are broken. All right, let me get the rope. I'll, when you when he gets taught, just wave me down and I'll okay. go and you don't your teeth there. All right, I'll I'll stand right here so you can see me. All right, we got this? You don't. He said you don't want your Jeep there. <laughs> no, I'll move it, but pull him back a little bit, and then I'll move. Let me get this uh, slack out of here. Man, it's like super slick, isn't it? Yeah, dude. I watched like five people slide past me on the way down. <laughs> yeah, I'll get the Jeep out of the way. Oh, no, it's not bad at all. It's another damn paradise. All right, so as you can see, we got the rope hooked up. Mike's gonna tighten it up a little bit and just pull him back out of here. He kind of, it's, it's really slick, so. We got him out. Uh, he just got into the bank a little bit and there's nowhere he could go. Okay, it's almost tight. Let's go ahead and put it in neutral. Oh, he just slid off to the side. So we're gonna, every once in a while when it gets real slick, he it's it's real tough getting down here without getting off in the side. You gotta be careful. Okay. It's better to sort of go along the side than the middle with all ice. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so he's got him out. So we're gonna try to uh, work him down the hill. I'm gonna get the Jeep out of the way. Got the G-Wagon up here, nice. Okay, so what Mike's doing is just keeping the rope tight. Slow. Thank you, Slow and steady wins the race with that. Laundry annex. We're gonna get everybody's laundry done up here. So another rescue successfully done. Let's do it, Loud Brothers, baby. <laughs> how we do it up here folks all right so we got them down that steep area they're gonna unhook and uh we're gonna go back to bucketing snow get in the corner dude. 
Ready? Yeah. Oh no. This one's gonna be a big one. couple of our guys here got a call from Tom he's getting a propane delivery so we got to locate that propane tank yeah. how we doing Fine. you find it Ooh, well, maybe it's yeah here. yeah I'm not sure exactly where it's at but uh, didn't we have it dug out before I thought we had it dug out one more one other time but they got the spotlight set up, getting her dug out, I'm gonna find it. All right, we're gonna go get him another metal shovel. That's all that, that stuff's really hard, hard packed over there. Bud and Sadie. Somebody said you guys are a menace to mammoth, or maybe they said I was. I don't remember. Got the guys here in the office getting ready to go out. I just sent that route over. Okay. All right. Cool. So we got the people uh, figured out for the day for the handwork. Uh, probably come over with the blower later and try to fix that pile up before it starts snowing again. And do what we can with it and I just have to throw it off to the left there hopefully that'll stick up there sun's coming out it's going to be nice up until probably about one o'clock I think it's going to start getting windy and that storm is going to be here so we will uh keep you guys posted how are we doing guys good to see you buddy yesterday we had uh some fans of the channel brought Sadie and Bud some treats. So I didn't get the name. Um, I wasn't here when they came by, but whoever you are, um, Bud and Sadie really appreciate that. And they're going to really enjoy those treats. So thank you for that. We really appreciate the support of our fans and, you know, just all around people that watch the channel. You know, um, we're doing it to give you guys a perspective of the life in Mammoth. So I know um, some people ask questions every once in a while, like, you know, is the channel about the dogs? Is it about snow removal? So to answer that, it's actually not necessarily about any of that. It's, uh, it's about the life up in Mammoth, right, Ed? Oh yeah. Give a We're over here at Vaughn's today. Getting all the weight off of the roof. Now we'll come up here, knock all this down, and get it all out of here before the storm comes. We got this massive piece of ice. We're gonna put it on the machine and see if we can pull it down. And then I can take it back to our snow storage. Getting all this weight off. Then we'll move over here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going.
there you go. You gotta watch out for that light. Back up a little bit. Now pull on it. There you go. There you go, perfect. Yeah, missed the light. There we go, now I can grab it. All right, back up. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more, sorry. I could probably grab that. Yeah, getting all the weight off. Jumping this machine and scooping it all up. This is the Vons roof. <clears throat> they want us to cut a curtain around the outside, but after coming over here and looking at their neighbors, these guys cut channels all down their roof for the rain coming, so it so it drains off the end. I think we're gonna cut channels too with the blower. There's one, two. Three, like six, they cut channels all the way around their roof. Their roof looked like this a couple days ago. I like that. It's a good view today. We're up here at Vaughn's. Getting some of this weight off the roof. We're gonna cut a curtain around the whole thing and then cut slices in it for the water drainage. It's supposed to get a lot of rain and snow. Making sure everyone's ready. This gets really deep right here. We used yesterday before we cleared this we used this right here to get the blower up by the time we're done we'll take the blower off the back of the building because it'll be a couple stories high look at that so we stopped in on our favorite lunch favorite spot, spot again. mike got the loader taken care of this morning so we're getting things all dialed in it, it's just starting to spit a little bit can't really see it right here but it was a minute ago it was saying one o'clock i think it's going to push back to four so uh we're gonna grab some lunch and uh get ready for this storm 
Joey's hooking up the drinks. We're over here at the Warming Hut with the Man and Mountain Live crew. Absolutely, Going brother. Live. That's my boy. Cheers, boys. That's one, that's one of the main reasons besides the food we come here because they treat us like family. We love it. So it's a great place. You guys got to come. Well, as you can see, that was strike one. I'm having trouble getting penetration with this welding machine running off this small generator. Definitely needs a bigger generator and it wouldn't be a problem, but got to work with what we got. So what the idea is here is to build that broken bolt up enough to where I can get a nut welded to it and hopefully back it out. That way we can put a new bolt in it. We'll see how it goes. Well, so far, that's what we've got on there. We're gonna hope that it nice chipping hammer. We're gonna hope that holds. Hopefully we can back it out. Just have to go really slow and easy. Yeah here goes attempt number two. Got it welded. Uh, hopefully gonna back out if they got enough penetration on it this time. You got uh, got it welded and as you can see it's moving. So hopefully it's welded good enough. It's gonna hold while I get it out of there. Just gotta take it super slow and easy. Stay tuned. Well, after quite a while with back and forth, slow movements, I think we got her. Got it out. Threads are a little bit messed up in there, it looks like. Might have to get a tap. But, we got the broken bolt out. out one of the other bolts after WD-40 screws in and out no problem so go get us a new bolt should be back in business well folks that's the finished product we got her in should be good right now it's coming down kind of wet so the bulk of the storm is getting ready to get here in a couple hours we're just making our way down uh, back down to Snow Creek here but we're bracing for the storm pumps. Huh? those pumps have an inch and a quarter thing so I had to buy a bunch of adapters to make it work well, for the pumps. pumps yeah I had to buy it's, it's, see the pump. 
they should have the right size for a hose on them in the box. I opened it. They didn't have extra ones in the box. Did you check? Yeah. So I got this inch and a quarter to three quarter, and then put the three quarter in, and then you can thread the hose on. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, because typically they have they have all that in the box. It they has some they other usually stuff. have a couple fittings in there. Yeah, they didn't. I don't know why. And then they didn't have. I had to get a inch and a quarter to a half, and they get a half to three quarter because they didn't have enough. All right. One of these ones. Did you run the bucket over here yet? No. What about getting the chains back on that thing? Does Ed have them in his truck? He just dropped them back off. That's what I was at. They've been uh, <clears throat> dropping this roof. Uh, I'm going to get going with the bucket and clean it up a little bit. So this is part two of the blower repair. We gotta get this thing back on. And we got a new wiring harness. We're gonna try that out, see what it does. Just now starting to come down. We've got our new wiring harness, and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna see what we can do to get that thing plugged in right here. So Mike's getting that thing all unplugged. Let's see if we can get it out. this new one in, see what we got. Can you, can we take just this half off? Just this half? What? Where's it all? It's all connected. Oh, okay. Everything's connected. It's gonna be tough getting it out of there with those lines in there. Yeah. So I was thinking we might be able to push that in back through, maybe. Oh, well, it's way too big. Maybe. Or I just pop this line off, pull it out. Nothing unplugs? Huh? None of it unplugs, huh? No. No. All right, I guess if I take this line off right here, this one, it out. I think we might take one of those lines out or maybe both of them, huh? Huh? The, the hydraulic lines? Just that one, yeah. <clears throat> Nothing's ever easy on these things. Alright, so that's the harness. We got that off. <clears throat> Here's the new one right here. It's all brand new. We 
Yeah, everything's there. Jamie barely used. So we're gonna route that thing in there and uh, see if we can make it work. Fingers crossed. Where's that other one out? Where's that other harness? Is it Woo! success so we got it going yeah oh yeah yes oh that's such a relief right before four feet of snow that's cause for a celebration right there boys Should I go back up and so we can zip tie it all up, or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, because I gotta pull some of this in. All right. Great news. We got this blower back up. <clears throat> so now we have two blowers again. Literally, we got it right up just about an hour before the real heavy stuff comes in. So, uh, now we got two blowers. We got this one over here. And we got that one there. And then we have a blade and a bucket for the other machine. So there's the blade right there. Shut it. And the uh, bucket's already on it. But I think we're gonna be the best we can be for this storm. So the new hire today, he just started today. We already got him bucketing. He's doing pretty good. He's actually a union operator. He's never really dealt with snow before, but looks like he's got the hang of it. So we got California's atmospheric river underway. And uh, you can see the snow's starting to come in. Just the start of it, folks. I had Owen go and grab a couple of these sump pumps <clears throat> in preparation for uh, what's probably heading our way. I'm pretty sure we're going to be using these things quite a bit. I have a bunch of these. I have like five or six of them, but they're buried in a, a sea train over by Snow Creek and about 20 feet of snow over there. So we just went ahead and bought some new ones and we got some good hoses and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, we're doing our last minute prep and then we're gonna Ooh. we're gonna go inside and uh get some hey, um, rest can you bring when you bring the sandbags to my house but yeah we got uh we even got some sandbags because things are gonna probably start flooding as soon as this warms up it's actually cool enough right now where it's you know nice and fairly dry it's uh, not too wet but 
what's going to happen here is the temperature is going to start warming up with that pineapple express that's coming through and uh we're looking at a lot of water on top of this so i've been getting a lot of calls for roof removal stuff like that and uh we're doing the best we can to get as many of those done as we can but uh That key was on. I don't know why that key got left on. That key got left on on the compressor. Did it die? It must have died on its own. Yeah. It probably died and then we forgot to turn the key off. But luckily it didn't hurt anything. It ran out of fuel. Oh. So the dogs are going to have their one last little hurrah in the snow. That's, that's Johnny's dog. I don't know what his name is, but yeah, so let it snow. So yeah, they handed out sandbags today. So we went ahead and got 40 of them because this garage right here, it's actually low. That's another reason why I got the pumps, but uh, just want to make sure we have what we need in case uh, it starts gushing because it just might do that right now we got owen working on chains and mike's finishing up this wiring harness we got it all installed everything's working good so it's just some last minute prep before we uh head out 